Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to be solving this radical equation. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Don't forget also to hit the like button. There are so many different ways in which you can take to solve this same problem. But in this tutorial, I'm going to apply three different ways. And in each case, we are going to obtain a single solution, despite having an x squared here. Remember, while solving quadratic equation in which the highest power is 2, we always obtain two solutions. But despite having an x squared here, we are going to obtain a single solution. So let me try the first way. Um, the left hand side is a sodic expression. Remember, while dealing with sodic expressions, that have the same root you can see this is cube root this is also a cube root whether they are linked off with division or multiplication you are always free to give them a single root so instead of leaving them in this form we are going to give them a single root so we have x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3 all under the same root which is cube root this is one of the laws of salt and to the right, we still have 3. The left hand side is under cube root. And we want to eliminate this cube root. And the opposite of cube root is power of 3, which is cube. So we can take the power of 3 from both sides in order to eliminate this. This power of 3 will automatically cancel this cube root. So let's simplify. The left hand side can now be written as x squared minus 9 divide by x plus 3 and to the right we have 27 because 3 power 3 is 27 3 times 3 9 9 times 3 is 27 again this x squared minus 9 remember it is difference of two squares because 3 um x squared minus 9 can be written as x squared minus 3 squared 3 squared is 9 this is a difference this is a square this is also a square if you factorize this, you can obtain x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. This is the factorized form of this. Therefore, we can replace this with that. We have x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. Divide by x plus 3. To the right, we still have 27. The denominator is x plus 3, and if you consider the numerator, you see we have another x plus 3. Therefore, they can cancel out. Leaving x minus 3 equal to 27. We are looking for the value of x. Taking negative 3 to the right, it becomes positive. Finally, x will be equal to 27 plus 3, and x is equal to 30. 30 is the real value of x here. We can check it to see whether this is true or not. Let's check it here. If the value of x is 30, we have 30 squared, which is 900. Minus 9, you can see it here. Physically, we have 891. But this is 30 plus 3, which is 33. So let us divide this 891 by 33 to see whether we are going to get 27. Divide by 33, and hence we have 27. Therefore, the value of x is 30. So now let me take the next method. Um, the second method is somehow related to the first method. But I'm going to do a kind of cross multiplication here. Cross multiplication, we are going to take this and multiply it by this, leaving um, x squared minus 9 to the left and to the right we have 3 multiplied by the cube root of x plus 3. This is just what? Cross multiplication. Still we want to eliminate cube root so we can take the power of 3 from both sides. Power of 3. They are somehow related remember. All right, this will cancel this, leaving x squared minus 9. To the right, we have 3. Power 3 is 27. Multiply by uh, this rest of the power of 3, they will cancel the root, leaving x plus 3 here. 
difference of two squares x minus 3 multiply by x plus 3 remember I showed you how to do that to the right we still have 27 multiplied by x plus 3 we can divide both sides by x plus 3 in order to eliminate this x plus 3 x plus 3 x plus 3 this will cancel this automatically this will also cancel this we have x minus 3 equal to 27 if you take negative 3 to the right it becomes positive so we have 27 plus 3 which is 30 x finally is equal to 30 this is the second way which is very much related to the first way so now let me apply the third method in which we are going to dissolve it into a quadratic equation all right now this is the third method we are going to take the cube of both sides cube cube the cube will cancel all these cube roots leaving x squared minus 9 over x plus 3 to the right we have 27 we are going to cross multiply to the left we have x squared minus 9 to the right we have x plus 3 times 27 x times 27 is 27 x plus 3 times 27 is 81 now let us bring everything to the left we have x squared here minus 27 x once it comes to the left we still have okay we have x here we have minus 9 if this one crosses over it becomes negative as well and to the right we have nothing but 0 x squared minus 27 x minus 9 minus 81 is minus 90 and to the right we have 0 now let us solve this problem by factorization we do this the whole equation is in terms of x so we have x and x we are going to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together we get negative 90 and when added off together we get negative 27 the numbers must be negative 30 and positive 3 because negative 30 times 3 is negative 90 negative 30 plus 3 is negative 27 so we are going to set each of these factors to be equal to 0 in order to find the value of x so the first one x minus 30 equal to 0 this implies that x is equal to 30 because once negative 30 crosses over equality sign it becomes positive and the second one which is x plus 30 equal to 0 this implies that x is equal to minus 30 in this case now we have two solutions we have already tested for this one now let us test for this one to see whether the statement is true if it is not true we are going to consider only positive 30 so if x is negative 3 let's see whether it is true negative 3 squared is positive 9 because negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 but 9 minus 9 is 0 0 divided by whatever is here will make it to be equal to 0 and the right hand side is not 0 so this means that um, x equal to minus 3 is not a solution it's not a solution therefore the real value of x is equal to 30 and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day